curious. This morning, I saw a video of a cat owner that was trying to get their cat diagnosed by the vet because the animal kept on temporarily freezing um, whenever it got stimulated. So whenever it was excited or shocked, just overcome by emotions and all of the muscles would freeze up. And then in the comments section, everybody was like, oh, that's fainting goat syndrome. Nothing to worry about. That's just fainting goat syndrome. What the hell is fainting goat? Turns out fainting goat syndrome is a genetic disease called myotonia congenita, which affects both humans and animals. So from my understanding, myotonia congenita is when your muscles contract, but do not relax normally. So for a period of time, you are immobilized. According to my research, um, very brief research, it seems like people refer to this condition um, or disease as fainting goat syndrome because of goat farmers in America. So goat farmers appreciated this disease in their goat herds um, for several reasons, which are kind of logical, but also a little bit cruel in some people's opinion. Firstly, if a goat with this symptom was trying to run away, say it jumped over a fence, the brain would get excited and then this would cause the muscles to contract and then the goat would fall over and be unable to move for a little bit and in that in the meantime the goat farmer would have time to look at this goat that has tried to escape and notice that it has fallen over and be like oh and go and collect it and not lose a goat secondly um say the goats were out in the field grazing and a predator like a wolf comes along all of the goats, once they realize this, will run away, right, to try and survive. But the one that has fainting goat syndrome would, unfortunately, have muscles that contract and then they would fall over and be unable to move for a while, giving time for the rest of the herd to run away because, obviously, the predator is going to go for the goat that has fallen over. Third, the constant muscle contraction makes the goats produce more meat because it's basically exercising all the time and so there's less fat and for a farmer that is good news because they have more meat to sell and apparently it makes the meat more tender tastier um so yeah apparently there is a call from um, animal rights activists to stop farmers from selectively breeding the goats and other animals that have this genetic disease because it's just not cool and the only reason that we are doing it is because of economic benefits.